All right, lots of weather to talk about. Let's get into it. We have numerous severe thunderstorm warnings in place. A couple of them are overlapping here. Uh, you've got severe thunderstorm warning until 645 for the northern part of Wayne County, northern part of McCreary, but especially going through Pulaski County. That clips also parts of Laurel County. Also in Laurel County, you have another severe thunderstorm warning. This one's likely the stronger of the two. The storm is now to the southwest of London, so really this one this particular warning is really more focused on Laurel County at this point. We'll get to the max track Doppler in just a second. Show you the storms. We've got one more severe thunderstorm warning. This one just came out. Uh, this is along and north of the Mountain Parkway in Powell County, Wolf County, on up into Menifee and Morgan County. Severe thunderstorm warning also until 645. So on the max track Doppler, you see that line of thunderstorms. We've actually got a couple of different lines setting up and a new storm has just popped up in Mercer County. I'm just going to be the highlight of that one because we're not going to zoom in on that. But the storms that are to the south, we are talking about isolated cells at this point. So the line has broken up, which means there is going to be shear available for these storms and it's something we're going to have to watch really, really closely with these discrete cells that have set up. Uh, but a storm near Delta there, as you look back toward Wayne County, uh, that's going to head on into the southern and eastern parts there of Pulaski County, may clip the northern part of McCreary County. It's this storm up here near High Top that we have really been paying a lot of attention to. So you folks in London, uh, be ready. You're, you're, the rain is going to pick up an intensity here for you in the next few minutes. The wind is going to pick up, but again, there is at least uh, some hail with this, certainly some very strong winds, and we'll keep an eye again for the possibility of any other shear developing with this storm. Look at that from Mount Vernon. Look at the lightning strikes uh, going right along I-75 there through Renfro Valley over toward Mount Vernon, uh, just to the east there of Broadhead. This is moving off to the northeast. You folks are in Anvil getting in on some heavy rain as well. Now you're getting into the next severe thunderstorm warning. This is one that was warned earlier coming out of Estill County. Uh, they've reissued the warning now. Storm is going to be west of Campton. It is east of Stanton. But you folks in Slade, you are getting hammered right now. And the lightning is nearly continuous. The rain is coming down hard, and that cell is going to be heading on up toward Frenchburg in the next, uh, give it another 15, 20 minutes or so. Uh, other heavy rain, though, back in the western part of Menifee County. Other storms do extend from Winchester down toward, say, about Waco there in Madison County. Strong storms also north of I-64 in Bath County from Sharpsburg on over then to the southern part of Fleming County, crossing the Licking River. Again, intense lightning ongoing with that. Heavy rain continues as well. You folks in Carlisle, north middle town also getting the heavy rain. So as we go to the future track, we take you to six o'clock here. There's your line of storms pretty well lined up uh, with the computer modeling. By the time we get you to eight, that initial line of storms is moving through eastern Kentucky, clipping southeastern Kentucky. Some of those cells have been strong coming out of east Tennessee. We'll have to watch that carefully as well. We got a lot of stuff going on tonight. So by the time you're past eight, most folks east of 75 are dealing with the storms west of 75. We're pretty much done. By the time we get you to 11 o'clock, the final batch of storms headed off to the east. Still have that risk for severe weather from the folks at the Storm Prediction Center and a watch may be issued shortly. Damaging winds, the primary severe weather threat. We are showing you the intense lightning. These storms have been producing hail, but nothing has gotten out of hand yet. And there is at least that low risk of shear and a tornado possibility. So all cards are on the table with this. Strong storms, severe storms are a possibility the next several hours. Starting late tomorrow, especially tomorrow evening, going on into Saturday. More rounds of rain and thunderstorms. Cooler weather will be on the way. Now the rain on Saturday, it's not an all-day rain. You will get a good chunk of your Saturday afternoon in, but again, you'll have to likely deal with some rain in the morning as this system continues to wind up. When you see something spinning like that, you know there's shear available, and that's one of those things, one of those parameters that we have to watch for very closely. So for tonight, the strong and severe storms we have around now, they'll die out as the evening goes on. Becoming partly cloudy, low 50s tonight, it's windy too. Becoming partly sunny, windy, warm, late day storm chances, upper 70s tomorrow. Saturday, the rain in the morning, then just scattered storms in the afternoon. Sunday looks good, it gets cool later next week.